Okay, um in today's topic we are going to talk about the prime the prime number and the prime factorization. We have said something about the factor of a number which we say that the factors of a number are those numbers that can divide another number without a remainder. So let's look at if I may ask what are the factors of okay let me say it what are the factors of this number what are the factors of this number two three five seven eleven maybe and so on and so forth now look at this number when we talk about two the factors of two are only one one can divide two and two can divide two there is no other number that can divide two when we talk about three what are the factors of three what number that can divide three is only one and three we talk about five what number can divide 5? It's only 1 and 5. What about 7? Is there any number that can divide 7? Apart from 1 can divide 7 and 7 can divide 7. So when you check these numbers and so on and so forth, when you check about these numbers, you find out that these numbers has only two factors. They have only two factors, one and itself. So we say that the prime number are those number that has only two factors. Prime number are those number that has only two factors, one and itself. These are what we call a prime number. The number that has only two factors one and itself so let's consider is one a prime number is one a prime number from here the answer is no why because one has only one factor one is only one it has no other factor but a prime number must have two factors one and itself so don't ever include one as a prime number one is not a prime number so a prime number are those number that has two factors one and itself okay so example if we are asked to find the prime number of find the prime number of or let me say 20 and uh, 30 if you have to find the prime number of 20 and 30 first of all we need to find the factors of 20 so what are the factors of 20 factors of 20 are 1 can divide 20 2 can divide 20 can 3 divide 20 no 4 can divide 20 5 can divide 20 can 6 divide 20 no 7 no 8 no can 9 divide no 10 can divide 20 11 12 13 no 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 or less 20 so the factors of 20 are 1, 2, 
4, 5, 10, and uh, 20. Then among these factors of 20, which of them are the prime number? You can see that the prime number there are only 2 and the 5. 2 and 5. So the prime number of the prime number of 20 prime number of 20 are only 2 and uh, 5. These are the prime number of uh, 20. Then if you are asked to find the prime number of 30, first of all, we need to find the factors of 30. Now the factors of 30, what are the number that can divide 30? We have 1 can divide 30, 2 can divide 30, can 3 divide the rest, 3 can divide 30, that gives you 10, 4 can 4, no, can 5, yes, 5 can divide 30, that gives you 6, okay, 6 can divide 30, that gives you 5, can 7 divide, no, 8, no, 9, no, 10, Okay, 10 can divide 20, uh, 30, that gives you 3. What again? 15 can divide 30, and uh, 30 can divide itself. So these are the prime, these are the factors of 30. Then among these factors of 30, which of them are prime numbers? 2 is a prime number. Remember, we can't say 1 is a prime number because 1 has no 2 factor. So 2 is a prime number. 3 is a prime number. And uh, 5 is a prime number. All these are, are not prime numbers. So the prime number... The prime number of 30 are 2, 3, and 5. These are the prime number of 30. So this is how we find the prime number. Then in other way, if we are talking about the prime factor, a prime factor a prime factor you said that every whole number that is not prime can be written as the product of the prime factor now, a prime factor are the factors of a number which we already did. The factors of a number that are prime number. Those are what we call the prime factor. The factors of a number that are prime. Because that's just what we already did. Because when we talk about the prime number, we have 2, we have 3, we have 5, we have 7, we have uh, 11, we have what again 17, we have uh, what again um, and so on 13 and so on and so forth. Those numbers that has no other number that can divide them except themselves and the 1. Then the prime factor are those factors of a number that are prime which we just did now they are factors of a number that are prime so let's talk about the product of a prime factor the product of a prime factor here we may be asked to write down a number as the product if you're asked to write down a number as a product of a prime 
factor. Example, we'll be asked to write, uh, let me give an example as a uh, write 90 as a product. of prime factor as a product of prime factors now for us to write 90 as a product of prime factor what i have to do here is first of all i have to divide 90 find the factors of 90 look for the factors of 90 so the first thing i do here is i'm going to find the factors of 90 what can divide 90 we start from 2 can 2 divide 90 yes 2 divide 90 we give us 30 2 can still divide 2 divide 30 gives us 15 can 2 divide no 3 divide 15 gives us 5 can 3 again no 5 divide 15 gives us 1 so this number now gives us 2 times 2 times 3 times 5 so the product is we are going to put this in indices form since it is 2 times 2 2 times 2 simply means 2 raised to power 2 because they are 2 in number so the product now will be give us 2 raised to power 2 times 3 times 5 so this is the product of a prime factors of a 30. Okay, so another example, let me give one more example. We ask to find right, right 324 as a product of prime factor write 324 as the product of, of a prime factor so what i'm going to do here simply is i um, have to look for a number to divide this okay or let me start from two can two divide two divided by three two four we have that to be one year year six we have that to be 120 162 okay what again 2 can divide 2 divided by year is 81 can 2 divide no 3 can divide 3 divided 81 will give us 27 okay 3 can divide again 3 divide 27 will give us 9 3 can divide 9. 3 divided by 9 we give us 3. Okay. 3 divided by itself we give us 1. So this number here we are having is 2 times 2 times 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. So we have this. Since this is 2 into 2 we have 2 raised to the power 2 to be the end is 6 okay this is 3 how many is 3 1 2 3 4 so 3 raised to the power 4 so this is the product of prime factors of 3 24 so what I want to say here is if we are asked to find a prime number if you ask to find a prime number a prime number we have are uh, just the number that can only be divided by itself and one those number that can only be divided by itself and one those number that has two factors one and itself two is a prime no number can divide apart from two and uh, one. Three is a prime. Is for a prime. 
you can see that 4 is not a prime number because 4, 1 can divide 4, 2 can divide 4, 4 can divide 4. They are no more 2. They are 3 in number. So 4 is not a prime number. Is 5 a prime number? Yes, no number can divide apart from 5 and itself. Is 6 a prime number? Look at 6. 1 can divide 6. 2 can divide 6. 3 can divide 6. And 6 can divide. You can see there are now 4 in number. Which says it is not a prime number. Prime number must have two factors. Is 7 a prime number? Is seven a prime number? Yes, because no other number can divide seven apart from seven and itself. So this is what we call a prime number. Those factors that those number that has two factors, one and itself. Why a prime factor? I'm trying to differentiate between them. Why a prime factor? Are the factors of a number that are prime? I've given example the factors of a number that are prime. Example, if you're asked to find the prime factor of 35, the prime factors of 35, first of all, what are the factors of 35? 1 can divide 35, can 2, 3, 4, no, 5 can divide 35, 7 can divide 35, and 35 can divide itself so in this case only 5 and 7 are the prime factors 5 and 7 are the prime factors of 35 so this is how we find the prime factors of a number and also the product of the prime factor